If you like the Newfie Halo 65, then you're gonna love the Halo 75, because this keyboard is exactly the same as its original 65 counterpart, except for the fact that it's bigger now. But if you want to see a full review, check out my comprehensive Halo 65 video. So we still have the thick aluminum top frame, plastic bottom case, dual angle kickstand feet on the bottom, wireless compatibility featuring Bluetooth and a built-in 2.4G receiver, full Mac and Windows compatibility with a flip of a switch, battery indicator, and of course, the unique RGB Halo ring. But what's different from the initial release of the Halo 65 is that we get new switches and the Ghost Bar accessory for an extra thawky spacebar experience. So these are the Night Breeze switches and Rose Glacier switches, linear and tactile. Unfortunately, I don't have enough Night Breeze switches, so I can't do a typing test, but we got Rose Glaciers, so hopefully that's good enough for now. They both feature 5 pins, and the color palette is fairly neutral, so even if you put it on an RGB keyboard, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. And just like the baby kangaroos, they're factory looped, so they're nice and smooth, and they also offer a longer stem pole, which means they're compatible with cherry profile keycaps like GMK. Also, not sure why, but my board of Rose Glaciers has a Night Breeze switch for the space bar. But here's what it sounds like if you choose the Night Breeze switch. By the way, this is the Ghost Bar. It's a piece of silicone that helps dampen sound and makes your space bar extra thawky. And here's a full sound test of the Rose Glacier switches. So the feeling of the Rose Glaciers feels very similar to the Duroc T1s because of how tactile they are. They're also quite heavy and similar in actuation force with box jade switches, so I personally wouldn't recommend gaming with them. So if you're someone who likes a really strong tactile bump or like heavy switches, this is the perfect one for you. With this keyboard coming in at $10 more than the Halo 65, I'd say it's definitely worth the price if you need that larger size. It's a wireless keyboard with good stabilizers, good functionality, and south-facing hot-swappable switches to suit any kind of switch and keycap combination. Last but not least, there's a little accessory box of tools, extra keycaps, and switches for you to mess around with. And to top it all off, you can complete your set with a two-tone wrist rest that fits both the Halo 65 and Halo 75. Check it out in the links down below and use code ROMSCOOL to get 10% off your purchase. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.